All righty then. I think we're on. Okay. And look where we are. It's me and you, and you and me. In the sanctuary. Uh, in the sanctuary. Look. And we got flowers. Oh, my goodness gracious. It's Isn't like it? they knew we were coming. It's beautiful. It, I love it. I love this time of year. The uh, sanctuary looks so yeah, nice. Me too. It does. It does. And that new big tree is it's a nice tree. I didn't light it up, but uh, that's okay. It's not in the shot, is it? Okay, that's what I thought. You can't see the tree, but it's real pretty. Uh, you, you have seen it in past videos, though. Hi, everybody. I'm so, Kenton Clink. Kenton Clink. Al Barker. Al Barker. And this is Wednesday, November the... Oh, jeez, November. December the 14th. Yeah. Christmas is coming. Well, you can see that this like is 11 not... 11 days. 11 days. I, you know what? I better shop. <laughs> what, are you, what are you getting me? What, what do you want? Uh, I know what you want. You know, new sock. New, new, new socks. socks, you know. Dude, yeah, no socks. I got no socks on. That's all right. I'll give you my last sock, though. It's okay. okay. They're like brand new. I might have just worn them once. Okay. What are you doing for Christmas? Uh, Christmas, I'm, well, Christmas Eve, as long as I'm here at 7 o'clock, at right. 10 o'clock, I'm a happy camper. Yeah, I know you'll be here on Christmas, Christmas Eve. Eve. What are you doing on Christmas? Though? Christmas Day, I think I'm going to sleep in Yeah. and uh, see what happens. Huh. Yeah. Why? What are you doing? Uh, we're, uh, my son's going to be at our house and, uh, a couple that where we used to live at that were neighbors of ours there, they're coming over and spending Christmas with us. Oh, nice. Every, oh, nice. every year we spend Christmas at their house or they come over and spend and Christmas at our house. It's, it's our turn to oh, nice. sponsor Christmas. Yes. Well, right now I am, uh, going around collecting people who know that I live alone over the years uh, have always shown up with a plate of cookies. Uh -huh. some Christmas, come Christmas morning, I always got something to munch on. And then some... Come, Cookies are good, too. Oh, in the morning. Oh, yeah. And then, you know, Christmas Eve, I usually go home. I usually make it home about 1130. And then I turn on the Pope. I don't know why. I like all the grandeur and all that. But I, I turn on the Pope and watch Christmas over there, too. Nice. Uh -huh. Yeah, it is nice. I got to play Santa Claus last night. No. Yeah, my daughter texted me. She said... Uh, Hey, Dad. Hey, Santa. Yeah. The kids want the kids want to talk to you tonight. Oh boy! And did you so, change your voice? So they called, and Mrs. Claus answered the phone. Oh. And, and then she put Santa on, and oh, 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 yeah, oh, 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 yep. oh so boy! So I know Santa's going to get four cookies, and Rudolph's going to get you know two carrots. And, oh well, yeah, yeah. You, you know, got to have it out. Glass of milk. You got to have it out. Um, uh, there's somebody looking in the door over here, and let's see what happens. Um, they're not coming in. All righty then. Um, we're back. Oh, speaking of back, it's time for that little commercial because I've been skipping it. What's that? <gasps> What's that? You mean you don't know? Got church? Get church right here at Cannonsburg UP Church. In these next 11 days, we have this Sunday coming up with identical worship services at 8, 30, and 11. There'll be choir, and there'll be bells, and there'll be people singing, and and people ring in, and it'll be a lot of fun and a, and a lot of nice worship. We have that, and then and that's, we... And then at nighttime, we have the laser show. Oh, that's right, this Friday and Saturday. Right. The 15th and 16th, right? Today's, yep. Uh, 14th. It, uh, for 16th and 17th. 16th and 17th. At 6.30 and 8. No, at 6 and 7.30. See how well I am at that? At 6 and 7.30, this Friday and Saturday night. You can buy tickets online at the church's website or at the door. Um, and it will be, it's an amazing show that we have put on here. You don't think, you forget that you're in Cannonsburg for a little while. You know, I've never seen it. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh? You know what? Treat yourself. <laughs> Treat yourself. It's, it's worth it. Okay. It's worth it. Uh, it's just. I've heard great things about it. Oh, I've just goodness. never and made it over for and it. The things, that, the, the work that goes into getting everything where it's supposed to be. It's amazing what those guys do in just 24 hours. Uh, and then to have it gone from Saturday night into Sunday morning, it's amazing. Yeah, that's all I know is it interrupts us getting the bells in here on time because we well, got to come in yeah, early on yeah. Sunday to put, set you, the bells yeah, up. Yeah, you do. Yeah, it's okay. you do. It's okay. Uh, it's okay, though, yeah. Yeah. But you guys can bug out of the bell room and come over here. That's good. Well, which is really good because, you know, they're having the Sunday school program over there. So with the bell tables gone, that'll be good. There'll be more people for more room for people to. And the bell choir is even playing with the choir. Oh, I know that scares me. Uh, with me too. And, and a piano. Uh, it, it scares me. 
scares me. But I think three and one. Well, you know, uh, the, our our part is easy. The choir's just Gloria. But, I, don't, I only have two notes. I got it, <laughs> I got it easy. There you go. Two, <laughs> she's not push. See, I I can't do more than two bells at a time. I mean, I can't hardly do two bells, but. If I'm real careful, but my thing is that I get lazy counting, and I forget I'm holding the bell and I'm no good. I find that hard to believe. I, I thought you'd be a natural on a bell. Ah, uh, you'd think, but no. Uh, yeah. I'm just not a natural ringer. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, our uh, normal co-host, who Al is sitting in for again today. Okay. Hi, Don. Where Reverend, you are? Reverend Don, how are you doing? Where, Reverend Don? Aw, that's nice. Yeah. Reverend Don. Yeah, I was thinking Ca Doctor Don, but he says he's not. No, a doctor. he's not a doctor. And, 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 he, he, he thinks. I he's was a thinking doctor. Captain Captain Don. Captain, but, you know, that, he, that would be okay. He was okay the captain too. of our ship. Yeah. But you know what else he is? Huh? He's the lead shepherd. The lead shepherd. Yes. Yeah, of the flock. I think that's where he is. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. Or well, either that he's playing Alf on the shelf with us, and somewhere hidden in here is Don Coleman. Okay. Can I'm you, just. Can saying, you find him? Can I, you find yeah, him up well, there somewhere hiding? I, Hiding behind a point artist? I got to tell you, I'm not going to look too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Let him stay hid. Let him stay hid. So uh, tell me, what is Linda making for thank for Christmas Day? Oh, we're doing something new this year. Mm. Usually we do turkey, but we're going to do prime rib. Oh, something you've never new. done prime rib? Never done it. Are you going to put it in the smoker? Now we're going to cook it on the grill, I think. Oh, okay. Well, that'll be good. She, does, she thinks it'll get too smoky in the smoker. It will. You're right. It won't, won't taste like prime rib. So. Yeah, prime rib is good. I've never cooked one before, so really? we'll see how it goes. Well, you got to get that internal temperature. Not that I know, you know. 135. Is that what it is? Yeah. Well, um, it, but it'll still be pink. Yeah, right. You know, Dawn and I, Dawn had prime rib one year for Christmas, yeah. but he wasn't happy with how with how it turned out. I, I was. How do you cook it? In the oven? Yeah, in the oven. Yeah, with a, and with a temp thermometer. It was just pink, and the kids weren't real with it being I asked pink him pink. for his recipe for stuffing balls because I want to make oh, them too. Oh, and did he get it to you? I haven't seen it yet. Well, I, I bet but you I any expect, money. But I expect I'll get it. I bet you any money if he's sitting there watching this video right now, wherever <laughs> he is, okay, that you're going to get it. You're going to get an email or a text with that stuffing ball recipe in it or a picture. So then we forgot to say after this weekend, all the festivities this weekend, then next weekend is Christmas weekend and oh. there's services on. Christmas Saturday Eve, night Saturday, at 7, 7 and 10, 10 o'clock, yep. and then on Sunday, there's one service at 10, at 10 o'clock. Yep, and I think that just, it's just wonderful. And Linda and I are going to play a duet. Oh, I forgot you are special music on Christmas special Day. Special music on Christmas. Oh, that's a special gift. We, we're working out the details right now. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, it's okay to skip notes. It's okay to skip notes. Just Ken, pick, Ken has lots of good advice. Pick, uh, it skip, is. skip notes. Yeah, you know, right. if you see one coming that you think you're not going to play, <coughs> just skip it. It works for me. Yeah, well, you can only skip so many, you know. And, well, and within the melody, you lose the melody. Lose yeah. the melody. Yeah. Well, that's when you got a la, 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 Well, that's la, when you la. hope that Linda's got the melody. So. Or, you know what I always say to the choir when I don't get the page turn or whatever. Sing I loud. Say, don't stop. Keep going. I'll find you. That's right. Yeah, music is complicated sometimes when you involve, but well, we're going to involve how many with the bell choir is what, 10? 10, yep. 10, and we're going to have probably 20 in the choir loft, so there's 30 people. And one on the piano. One on the piano and one direction. Right. And so that's a lot of people to have on the same beat at the same time. If you never made music before, <laughs> sometimes it gets rough. We all have to pay attention. So we're going to get some snow this weekend? Well, I, I don't know. I, I see that it's rained so far. Rain? I haven't, I haven't I, paid attention. It's rain. They've just been rain. talking about this big blizzard coming across right, the country. I wasn't sure whether we were going to get hit with any no. of it. We may get some freezing rain tomorrow, is okay. what I'm hearing. But you know what? I'll order in. <laughs> do, you, do you deliver? Uh, I can. I, I knew that. I can. I, yeah. I, I knew you would. In fact, <laughs> you, you did deliver me blueberry pie. Blueberry pie uh -oh. and... and Oh, no, I brought scones here, but blueberry pie. Scone, over, and scones right? you brought here. Yeah, you're baking. Are you baking anything? Uh, I probably will have it. Hadn't thought about it yet. Okay. Pro probably a pecan pie. A pecan pie. Yeah, oh. I, got, I, got, I bought too many pecans at Thanksgiving, so I got enough to make another pie. Bridget makes pecan. Dawn's wife makes pecan pie. I like she that. does a pretty good job at it, too. She's the baker. He's the cooker. She's the baker. I don't know who the candlestick maker is. I, I don't know. 
I don't know. And I, 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 I don't know. But they have one issue in their house this year that nobody, almost nobody believes in Santa Claus. And Ouch. I, I, and I'm like, wow, I, I still believe. Don't you still believe? They got one left. What, Santa Claus? That believes in Santa? Um, I wish you was she. I wish you was she. Freeze, wish you was What about Don? What about, does oh, he believe? Well, you know, he believes in Santa Claus. <laughs> uh, you know, every day is Christmas He's for him. He's pretty gullible. Every day is Christmas for him. Uh, you know what? I called him up on Sunday morning like I usually do before church. Yeah. I called him at 7 o'clock. Right. And I said, did you know? Make sure he's out of bed, right? Well, yeah, somebody's out of bed. Yeah, We're going to have okay, church on good. Sunday. But he's always out of bed. But he doesn't, doesn't already always answer. So I go into full panic mode. <laughs> but... Anyway, I said this week, did you, when you went to bed last night, did you see I was under your tree? And he said, well, no, you weren't under the tree when I went to bed. But when Bridget came up, she said, Kenton's under the tree. <laughs> I said, do you know I would, why I was under the tree, Dawn? He said, no, why? And do you know what the answer to that is? There was a light out on the tree. No. Uh, I'm a gift to him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you think he said about that? I thought you were under there trying to get the cat out. Uh, no, I'm not chasing no cats. So far, I think it's good with the cat job, though. And I have to tell you, my friend Judy Lesso from church yep. stopped in yesterday, made an appointment and stopped in, and she's holding a, a bag of stuff in front of me, and we she takes off the top of the bag, and here's this little silver Christmas tree. It's about this tall. It has lights on it, and it's all decorated. So... This morning, I found a place to plug it in. At your house. And I have a little tree. There you go. That's so, good. Well, Judy made sure I had a tree. That's Last good. year, in that little apartment I was in, she gave me a little tree. And this year, I got a little bigger one. Yeah. I don't know how she's going to get a six-footer in there next year, but <laughs> she'll give it her best shot. That's she's good. a good girl. Yeah, but it has. it's real pretty. It's, it's gold and silver. It has balls on it and lights, ten lights, I think I counted. Very good. Yeah, but so I got a little Christmas. Because, you know, we always need a little Christmas. Always need a little Christmas. Right this very minute. You need a little Christmas. Carols on the spinet. Yes, we need a little Christmas right this very minute. Need a little Christmas now. Somebody wrote a song like that. They did. Can you guess the musical? You're really need good at this, too. Need a little too. Christmas right, right this, this very, very minute. minute. Do need do a little do do Christmas. Do do. Hello, Dolly? No, no. Close. Same girl. Little... Same woman. Barbara Streisand? No. No, no. no Mame. I'm sorry. It was Mame, Mame and uh, okay. Mame. It was Mame. Mame? Mame, yeah. Lucille Ball. Yeah. Lucille Ball? And Luc Lucille Ball and uh, Robert Preston and B. Arthur made a Mame back in the, I want to say, early 80s. It's the one I watched. I've seen Mame, but I, yeah. uh, I, don't, the one I don't recall that. And it's funny that they go from Christmas. I don't Christmas. recall Lucille Ball being in it. She, yeah, she was. She uh, lived in a big brownstone in uh, New York, and that's where she lost everything and then married Robert Preston and made a bando, and then he got killed in an avalanche. Terrible. Hmm. Wonderful story. Robert Preston was in that, too. Robert Preston. One of my, a music man. I know. One of my, that's one of my favorite things of all time is music man. Huh. I mean, really. I, I, my mom took us, I can remember, when I was just a kid. It was in Beatles Alhambra down here on Pike Street might have cost 35 cents to get in and you got a you got a bag of popcorn for a dime and you had to hold the bag underneath the popcorn machine where it was going to go onto the floor so some kids thought it was very funny for mr beetle who was an old man by then to have to clean up that popcorn off the floor so <laughs> it was worth the dime just to watch it fall on the floor crazy kids crazy i would have never done anything like that never <laughs> never, never done never anything done that. like that never not once never but uh yeah i that and so we went to see uh uh the music man there and then we went again at the crest theater at donaldson crossroads yep and then they used to run the music man only on the fourth of july because it's a fourth of july movie i guess it is that's right it, you know it's a fourth of july movie so but for me there's no more entertainment than that i can't shirley jones is still living that's a miracle. Yep, yep. That's a miracle. I bet she still sings, too. Yeah, I first saw it probably when I was... Uh, just a kid. 
seven or eight years old, yeah. the, the mill players up in uh, Mill Creek at, oh, at okay. the high school. Oh, you what, saw what it a live production? A live production wow. of it. And then, and then when I was in high school, our high school did the musical in the summer. It was a summer production where adults and kids oh, were cool. involved in it. So you had so, a band. So my mom and my dad and my sisters and brothers were all in it also. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. That's real. Oh, boy, I'm jealous of that. I would have loved to participate in the music band. Do you know that I learned that uh, in the musical, in the film of The Music Man, that none of that was live. Robert Preston singing Trouble, with a capital T in that rhymes with right. T and that stands for fool, was all lip synced. Wow. He, yes, he did not do that. That not was. That, Can that you wasn't. tell now that you know? No, you can't, which is amazing. Yeah. He was a talented man. Right. I miss him. I wish he was older later. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, he was. He seemed to be a little bit older. Too old for the role. Harold of, Hill. Yeah, Harold yeah, Hill yeah. for the role of Harold Hill. Well, and he probably could have been a couple years younger. That, you know that's true. Well, generally, I, I guess they are now on Broadway. I think it's running again on Broadway too. Music yeah, band. I don't know. Yeah, I, I I would pay to go see that. I would. It's one of the ones, and I would pay. To, well, I don't know if she still would, but I would pay to see Shirley, Shirley Jones sing. And I'm not going to let Barbara Streisand go by one more time. <laughs> I, I, and the next time she comes, I don't care if it's nine hundred dollars for a ticket. And I don't care if I go alone. I'm going to go. Yeah. To sing people, people who need. That was, that was, that was a good time for musicals. There were a, lot, oh, a lot of good shows that came out. They don't do them like they, that they anymore. They just don't do it like no, that. No, they, 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 they were they were Hamilton good. is not like no. the others. Not that Hamilton wasn't good because the world thinks it was good. But um, I really enjoyed a typical musical where you just burst into song in the middle of a story. Like, we're talking about Christmas. I'm dreaming of a white. Do you see how that works? Yeah. We're in Kenton Al's musical. <laughs> well, that's going to be a good one. Oh, it is. I'm telling you. Where do we incorporate dancing? Uh, dancing? Uh. <laughs> yes. that, that might be. That might cause problems. Yeah, I, I know it would cause problems for me. <laughs> My dancing days are long gone. Okay? Okay. The most you get out of me is... Okay, yeah, nah, that's good. That's dancing. That's good. That's dancing. So, uh, Woody, what else? We we covered all the church uh, stuff. Stephanie's up in the booth, by the way. Thank yep. you, Stephanie. She's Gilman. Are you still um, Kelly? I'll, I'll be whoever you need me to be. Kelly or Ryan, whichever you want. To, who do you want to be? You I'll, could be Art. I'll, you know who Art is? No, I don't know Art. So I'll uh, be Art. Art. That's good. Well, see, nobody knows Art. I mean, he he he's just a guy. I think he's the one with the money. I think it's the big time producer. We don't have a big time producer here. You know, we just we just slide by on the seat of our pants. Our budget and, and, and you really slide by just oh, by yeah. the seat of your our pants. Our budget too. is next to zero. Yeah. 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 But and you know what? This is a very high high budget production here. I mean you can tell. By all the cam camera angles. Oh, yeah, you, you can tell. I mean, she's there's probably zooming in, zooming out, oh, zooming in. I'm sure know. she is. We got camera one, camera three. You know, it, this is, it's amazing. Yeah. And we're right here in Kansburg UP Church. And that's what will be amazing about Friday and Saturday night. Those people who will come will sit down in here and think, I can't believe I'm in a church building and all this is going around, on around us. I mean, it's beautiful. So I've got a suggestion for what you should play today. <laughs> don't say it. He's going to challenge me. I know it. Oh, don't say it, Al, because I'll try and then I'm going to mess up in front of the people and then they're going to say, I can't believe you didn't know it. Well, we talked about it ahead of time and I suggested a song and he says, I'm not sure that I know yeah, that well, song. He wants chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Oh, you yeah. know what? I'm going to roast your chestnuts, buddy. I'll tell you what. I like okay. that one. I like White Christmas, too. I'm dreaming. Oh, do you want it sung or do you want it played? Well, you can do both. That's good. You know, I know you're a fan of my singing, <laughs> but I don't know if I have. I think everybody's a fan of no, your singing. No, 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 they're not. You no. mean you've had bad comments on your singing? Uh, no Besides comments. from Don? Well, Don might comment badly <laughs> on it, but has anybody else commented well, badly on it? Well, you know, Don has never said don't sing. He says <laughs> if you want to embarrass, embarrass yourself, just knock yourself out, Ken. And you do a good job of that. Oh, well, thank you. You know, I, if I don't embarrass me, who's going to? Uh, well... <laughs> exactly. You know, I'm taking the lead on that, okay? Because no one's getting ahead. That's good. All right? No one's going to, I'm going to laugh with them, not at them. That's the, way, that's the way to do it. You know, I don't gossip. I just talk about people. You, you do that well. I know that, but I don't do it maliciously. No. No, no I just share some information. That's good. It's not malicious. Gossip, 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 gossip. is malicious. 
Well, it's not gossip? Well, yeah, go if it's not gossip, it's just we're chatting. That's all, we're just okay. chatting. Okay. You can't talk about other people. What are we going to talk about? I mean, we talked about Christmas. If we can't talk about other people, I mean, world events, they're not that earth-shattering right now. Hey, I saw you the other day at the um, retired uh, community, what's it called? The active Christian Seniors. Active senior. Christian Seniors. Al first, an first, active time Christian I, senior. first time I went there. Al and, was an active and, Christian uh, Senior. You, you played the piano there and entertained the, the, well, the crew there. There was, there was probably... 70. Uh, I'm guessing 70, 60, 70 people there. 60 or 70? Sure. Wow, I was going to say... around the table. Uh, okay, okay maybe I was going to say 40 or 50. Okay. I'll, I'll give you 50. Yeah, yeah. 50. I'm, I'll it was, a, it 50. was a really nice uh, turnout. Really nice turnout. Uh, yeah. Oh, like I said to the women there that day, or the women and the men. Sorry. Yeah, there was there was three men. Yeah, four men. That maybe. counts me. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, well, <laughs> I said to them, I said it was it's a miracle that we're all here. You know, not everybody has a car anymore. Nobody's a not not everybody's able anymore. But yet, God found it in His providence. To place all those people in that room that day, and we, that we, we sang some songs and took Ken took suggestions, and yeah, and then one, we were we were going to sing "Oh Christmas Tree" because you know everybody knows the words to "Oh Christmas Tree." Yeah, and we got the "Oh Christmas Tree, Oh Christmas Tree," and that's all they and knew. And that's all we knew. And then it was so we la 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 la. We la. did. It was hysterical. <laughs> the rest of the they song. laughed and laughed. <laughs> uh, and that's all that matters. You know what I mean? We, you know, we could do them all la 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 la. Well, that was the best part of it because I I got to see the expression on everybody's they were faces smiling, and they were right all they? smiling. Absolutely. Everybody was happy. It, it made their day. <laughs> You know, I usually go to lunch with my friends, and I said to my friends on Monday, I, I cannot stay. I have to stay. I have to go visit. have to. I have to see those people. And it was wonderful to see all of them, too. And you know what? They're from a variety of churches and a variety of faiths. Yeah, there were some people there I didn't recognize. Yes. A, yes. Lot, a lot of people there that I didn't recognize, yes. but a lot of people I did. Yeah, yes. a wonderful thing. A wonderful thing that, uh, you know, they get the message to be here. That probably had a lot to do with Karen. And that's typically once a month? That's going to be once a ACS month? ACS is usually once a month, I think. Okay. I think it is. You just didn't and it's know just been it. on hold but for you, a couple of years. Well, yeah. Well, I think we did one maybe in the springtime. I think we did one. What'd she say? I don't know. I didn't wear my hearing aid. <laughs> did, did you wear your hearing aid? No. Oh, so. so, look, you got two deaf people talking <laughs> to you today. Okay? We got nothing. Stephanie's trying to say something. You, you, you probably think I can hear what you're saying to me. Yeah. It's all good. It's amazing. It's amazing. I can read lips. It's amazing. And uh, Steffi, how do we look in the, with this backdrop today? Looking good, huh? <laughs> I, hey, I, you know, it's, I, you know, we just go for it. We just go for it. I, but I want to also encourage everybody, please come worship with us these next two weeks. Oh, my goodness, there's not a better time in the life of the church except maybe Easter Sunday. Oh, and it's nice because we sing usually oh. four or five Christmas. Yep. Carol's, Carol's hymns. We get them all in. Um, and uh, don't make sure from you, you almost know the words, but you, you you don't necessarily know all the words, but you know the tunes. Oh, and, yeah. and the words are familiar, yep. and the tune is familiar. Yep. And, and sometimes, hymn book, sometimes and for me, it brings a tear to my eye when we sing. Really? Them. Oh yeah, just just because it's only this time of the year, and just thinking of Christmas well, and the secret. and the exciting part about Christmas, it, it it just does that. I'll tell you a secret. Yesterday, I it's not a secret, but it's a secret. Yesterday I rehearsed with Matt Yarbrough, who's going to sing at 7 o'clock on Christmas Eve, Oh Holy Night. Well, I hadn't seen Matt for a couple years. Um, and I don't so, know Matt. No, you don't, but you will come Christmas Eve. Okay, um, just at the 7 o'clock service. So. And then he'll be for the choir at 11 o'clock. Okay. Yeah, so um, if you want to come and sing with the choir, you know, you could actually come to rehearsal tonight. You and Linda. Well, I'm going to be there for the first 15 minutes. Oh, oh that's right. We're coming to, oh, that's right. We're all be you're together. Coming, you're coming to Belcourt. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So you could stay. I could. I mean, that's all I'm saying. Uh -huh. I, you and Linda both, you could stay. You could pick them up real I, quick. I've tried to talk her into staying. I and I, how's that going, It's please? not going well. Linda, I know you're watching. <laughs> okay? You get in here on Christmas Eve. You get in here, Linda, because we need you. She says she can't sing. Because she'd start crying when she was singing. Oh, Christmas that's songs. right. That's right. Well, let her cry. Yeah, I don't see any problem. With Me that. either. Let her cry. Anyway, back to Mac, Matt Yarbrough. So yes. he comes in yesterday. We chatted for a while, and uh, he brought a hymn book. We did a holy night without skipping a beat. And when we got to the last fall on your knees, I I was crying a little bit, Al. I I was crying a little bit. It, 
it got to me. Because it sounded so nice. Oh, it was beautiful. He had the beautiful voice. We, we, we did it twice and said, okay, we're ready. There you go. We're ready. But, uh, yeah. It sounds like it's going to be good. I might have to come to the 7 o'clock service. You could. You, you know what? You could, you could do it all. <laughs> Could. You could do it all. I know I am. Especially if I was in the choir, I'd, I'd have to come to the 11 o'clock. Do you know what I told Dawn? Huh. Between the music this week and next week in church, and then 7 o'clock and 11 or 10 o'clock on Christmas Eve, 7 and 10 on Christmas Eve, I'm going to have little bloody stumps <laughs> by the time I'm done. Little bloody stumps. Hey, i got all... a question. Are we doing any repeats of any of the hymns for between all these Sundays of Advent? No. Uh, no oh, I, they're I, all, I, so we're singing... Four or five hymns, different, and they're going to be different every week. Yeah, he makes sure he includes every Christmas carol between the first Sunday of Advent to. So Advent that's Advent. like twenty-five or oh, yeah. thirty Christmas songs. Yeah, yeah. He oh, did. God rest you, merry gentlemen. He didn't give me any music for it. <laughs> I had to hunt that down on Sunday morning. Really, you need music? From oh my goodness, yes, that's a hard one. Oh. God rest. You. And my foot goes crazy because each beat is a different foot pedal. I was dancing up there. Nobody uh, cared. Up on the organ. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody cared. I mean, that was a lot of work. I'm I believe it. I, I, I bet my toe was probably bloody after that. I believe it. I'm telling you. But I, I figure come Christmas Day, I'll just have 10 bloody stumps. <laughs> so I, I'll, I'll bring some Band-Aids. Uh, <laughs> wow. That's really sympathetic. That's really, usually on Christmas Day, I'm exhausted, truthfully. Yeah. So uh, it's an off day for me. So that gives you the right to sleep in in the morning. Well, I, well you can't even sleep in. you got to mm, be here by 10. I slept in. Oh, that's right. I got, I'm, I'm coming to church on Christmas Day. That's right, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. And then Coleman thinks I'm not coming over after. <laughs> he thinks we're going to do Christmas Eve this he, year. He thinks he's going to have a private Christmas well, with, yeah, with his family, with his family. And, his, and his mom and dad. <laughs> I think not, Don Coleman, okay? Remember, I have a key. Invited or not invited, I'm coming. You he know? doesn't take the key back every time when he's... Oh, he, I don't he, give he it back. His, oh, that's dangerous. Well, actually, because no, it's not dangerous because when the kids were little, I was on the emergency call list. Too. Uh -huh. okay. I mean, I never had to go get them, but they knew to get in the car with me. Although whenever, like, they're walking home from here and I say, you want a ride? You know what they say? No, it stinks in your car. Really? Of yeah. smoke? That's what they say. Huh. I mean, five whole seconds they're in the car. Huh. You know, I was talking to Don about that the other day. When he you know, first, some people don't like cigarettes. I don't understand. I mean, you know, that's a generational thing. <laughs> and you know what? I when Don first came here, I took him around everywhere to show him stuff, and you know, I drove him around and showed him historical did, places. Did he and, complain about the cigarettes? Uh, not one word, Dad. Not one word about cigarettes. Huh. Okay. He did have a habit of putting the window down, but the weather was nice. He, he was just more polite. He was more, yeah, and now, oh, no, I could never smoke a cigarette. Oh, my goodness, no. Oh, oh, oh. I tell him all the time when I'm cat sitting, I'm in the living room smoking. <laughs> <laughs> he, but he, he would be right, he'd be the first one, <laughs> nose in the door. Nose in the door, yep. Oh, yeah. He does it with the kitty litter. He does it. He knows. Yeah. He knows. And this week, this year, I told him. You got to do. You need kitty kitty litter in the in the kitty litter box, and I had left a bag of droppings outside the door. I thought I'm not going all the way to garbage can. He has kids, so that's, I didn't. That's one of your responsibilities. Change the cat litter box. Oh, you can't believe how these people just walk all over me. Huh. I'm telling you. First it was the kids. Now it's the cats. Huh. I. It's okay though. It's really okay. I have. Did, did you have to change diapers? Uh, no. no, no, actually, uh, the only one that was left and she wasn't in diapers was Bria when they got here. Bria was just in the middle of training. Oh, okay. Yeah, she was just in the middle, but the well, other good. ones, yeah, the other ones that's were done. Thing. Yeah, yeah. And when I did babysit, the one that cried the most was Bria. Yeah, it's because you got to realize we, I was relatively strange for sure. the first time I babysat. You're probably still strange, a little bit strange. To no, her. well, yeah, in another way. <laughs> yeah, thanks. You know, just, you're turning into Don <laughs> Coleman right here, right now. So I'm a little, Don, did you hear him? How quick he slid that one right in there, okay? Well, you said it first. Though, well, you, you know, did. I just, I'm a, just repeating. A cute little Bria story. So uh, w the first time my baby sat, Dancing with the Stars was still on ABC. So anyway, it was a Dancing with the Stars night. And so I thought, okay, I'll watch Dancing with the Stars. Well, first of all, I turn the TV up so you can hear it. 
Well, you'd swear I was broadcasting and you could hear it in New York City. Anyway, down comes Priya, down the steps. So I'm sitting on one end of the couch and she's sitting on the other end of the couch and I see her peeking over at me and I said, this is special for you being up this late, isn't it? And she said, yeah. I said, do you want to snuggle? And she said, yeah. So she didn't smell so much like cigar, cigarettes. She didn't, I didn't, well, I, not that much. I may have, but I think she was desperate for a snuggle. Yeah. So, but she, she scooched right over there and pretty soon she was under our, my arm and I could, we watched Dancing with the Stars and not the whole thing, of course, but I could feel her nod. And I said, you want me to carry you upstairs? You ready to go to bed now? She said, yeah. I couldn't lift the kid up off the floor. <laughs> she is 100% prime meat, hard as a rock. Every... But there's something to be said about the way people smell. I remember my grandfather smoked Eric cigars. Okay. And uh, he always smelled a little bit like smoky. Cigar. And I still remember that. I mean, when you he smell that smell. 30, 40 years ago. I don't know, but that's grandpa. But smell. I still have a recollection. When I think of grandpa, I think of the smell. When I well, when I'd sit next to him and he put his arm around me and I oh, and you just remember those yeah, here smells. You go, here you go. Yeah. You got anything? See. Bit, Don Coleman, little, this little, is what you're missing. That's a little Look, bit. Look, Don, he's hugging me, buddy, okay? <laughs> he's hugging me. See how that goes? See? That's what you're missing, Don. Well, I think it might be time for music. Yes. Now, are you going to sit over here and make me nervous? I'm going to sit right there oh. so I can see all the fingers moving. Oh, man. Well, if I decide to sing, you have to I'll try to join. I'll try to join in, or I'll come over and hold the oh, microphone You have to hold for the you. microphone, okay? okay? But I'll, I'll, I'll keep give, it. Give me a heads up. Oh, I, I, I will, because I'll stop and say, Al, I'm going to sing. Okay, good. Is that, is that good? Good. Are you going to leave it on or off? Or oh, you... I'm going to turn it off as soon as we're done talking here. Okay. And then Stephanie will be up there and ready to go. Got it. She'll, she'll be ready to go. We've okay. just forewarned her. Remember, chestnuts roasting on the oh, open fire. So my pay, pay attention. We're going to oh. see, you know. If it oh, comes out, this right. is going to be the worst you heard in two and a half years. I'm <laughs> telling you, the worst. I love I, foot, I love putting pressure. Oh on Oh my goodness! I'm not going to. I'm telling you, I will go right over there and go brain dead. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Here we go, Steph.
Oh, there was a, that was a lot thrown in altogether. Is it on? That was good. There was, I know, I was mixing it up. I was taking a chance. Now, there was some of uh, chestnuts roasting on an open fire that was completely original, never heard in the middle of that music. That's all right, new arrangements are perfect. But I, I kept on going, I, I, I powered on through, you know? If I was, if I was on a football team, I'd have been the quarterback to made the touchdown. You know, the camera's up there. Oh, 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 how rude. Okay then. Well, you could, but then it doesn't. You could, will you just? You, I'm good. Are you all right? We're good. I just remember the cameras over uh, here. Oh, 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 I will, but I, they got to remember my voice. Okay, here goes nothing, everybody. Uh, this is called the best gift, and I've been playing this little song. Oh my goodness gracious, for has to be 40 years. Can you still use your music? I I have to. Yeah, it's one of those ones. Yeah, it's one of those ones I have to use the music for the words too. Easy on my voice, Duffy. I cannot bring him silver. I cannot bring him gold. I cannot bow as shepherds did, O oh, wise man of old. But I can bring him something although it may seem small Thank you ever so much for tuning in here today with us. Thank you, Al, for being here in Dawn's place. Thanks for singing just now with me. I hope that was all good. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We'll be back here next week, Wednesday at 1 o'clock. I think the regular host, co-host, will be back by then. Um, other than that, please join us in worship at Cannonsburg UP Church, 112 West Pike Street. Got church, 
get church, find it here. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.